In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Mont Blanc 149 Italic Edge Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is a Mont Blanc 149 in standard platinum trim. However, this is a special edition that was done in collaboration with the German retailer Fritz Schimpf. And basically, this is the third in a series of custom 149s that they did with Mont Blanc's Best Book Nib program. Basically allows you to customize a nib any way you want within Mont Blanc's you know, technical ability. When you use that program, you can have your signature put on the side of the nib, do any kind of nib that you want, really. Now, it's very expensive. I think it adds over $1,000 to the price of the pen, and this pen is already $900 or $1,000. So it's very expensive. So Fritz Schimpf has been doing a couple of, or three now, special editions where they do sets of 100, and that just helps get the price down a little bit. It's still very expensive. Anyway, this one is called the Italic Edge. And so if we take a look at the nib here, we can see Fritz Schimpf's logo on the side there. That's a little uh, leaf or quill, rather. And then on the other side, we can see italic edge and so basically the story with this nib if you look at it you can see it's quite wide however the corners are a bit more rounded so you get a italic nib with a vertical stroke that's 1.4 millimeters wide which is quite wide and then a horizontal stroke that's 0.3 millimeters and then you also have the ability to have an extra fine nib by writing on the side of the nib. So it's very <laughs> it's it's very interesting. I think it's a very ambitious nib. It's pretty cool. It's very wet. It's very nice writing, very smooth, very cool looking nib. Now when it comes to the price, the retail price I believe was just under 1500 euros and I think it's a little bit less than that because that price includes VAT, but it's still, you know, very expensive I think with shipping, you know, you're right at 15 hundred dollars. It's an interesting proposition. Now as a comparison, I have another nib that does a similar thing to this. This is an Italifine from Richard Binder for a Pilot Vanishing Point. This is honestly one of my all-time favorite nibs. This works a little bit differently where the flip side of the nib is the fine or the extra fine writing side and then the other side is the italic. Now with this you turn the pen 75 degrees and so you're writing kind of on an edge like this. It's a bit weird. I'd say it's not my favorite. It doesn't feel quite as comfortable as that italifying nib that I have on my vanishing point. However, it does work and you do kind of get two nibs in one with this, so I think that's pretty cool. In terms of specs, this is really a standard 149. I did a review of a modern calligraphy. Do they call it calligraphy or they call it a cursive version? I can't remember. I'll put a link to that review up in the corner where I go into more of like the full details of the Mont Blanc 149, but basically this is the biggest size pen that they make. It's piston filler, uh, classic torpedo shape that they've been making since I think the, the 40s. This is a very classic very cool looking pen. Uh, maybe it's the 50s. One of those. Anyway, let's do the writing sample. Okay, so for the writing sample, I'm going to be doing that in a Papermind Mitsubishi Bank Paper Notebook. For Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. These are really excellent with fountain pens. So let's do the writing sample. So this is the Mont Blanc, 149, Italic, Edge, and this is Diamine, uh, Forest, Green.
And if we do some fast writing, I mean, it's, this isn't the wettest of inks, but performance is really, really nice. Now, in terms of line variation, 1.4 millimeters this way, and you can push on this a little bit. I probably, I'm not 100% sure I recommend this, but it is relatively soft, so you can get some line variation that way, and this way, it's quite thin. Now, I find that when I'm writing, you know, my normal size, I don't see a lot of line variation, as you can see up here. It's a pretty big nib, but it, it's definitely a cursive italic versus a sharper italic, so it doesn't look I don't know, I don't feel like it shows off that much if you're writing in a typical size in terms of differences between the thin and thick. I mean, you can see it a little bit there, but it's pretty minute in normal writing size. Now, the italic edge, the edge part here is turning the nib, and then we get a fine, or extra fine as they would say, it works pretty well. It's maybe a touch drier, but it's definitely usable, definitely very serviceable. Obviously, you're not going to get any flex when you're doing that. You should not push on it when you're writing on the edge, but it works pretty nicely. One thing with the snib I would say is, you know, for people that write small, the italic Part when you're writing with it normally is going to be too big. I do enjoy it. I just, I would say I wish that the thick and thin strokes were a little bit sharper. Just as a quick comparison with my Italifine here, there's just a lot more variation. And then when you write upside down, uh, To me, it just feels better. It doesn't feel dry, whereas when you're writing on the edge with the italic edge, it does feel a little bit more dry. Now, I probably didn't pick the best ink for this just because it's not the wettest ink, but in normal use, I don't really have any issues with it, but I do feel like when you're writing on the edge of it, it does feel a little bit dry. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So what are my pros and cons for the italic edge Mont Blanc 149. Well, the biggest pro, of course, is the nib. That's the reason to buy this pen. It writes really nicely. We have a very juicy cursive italic nib, and then we can also write on its edge and have basically a, a fine point. So you kind of get two nibs in one here. That's really nice. This is a special nib because Mont Blanc doesn't make italic nibs in their normal lineup. And to get an italic nib, you would have to normally go through their bespoke program, which I think adds at least $1,000 onto the price of the pen. And this pen, the Mont Blanc 149, is already, I think, around $1,000. So it gets extremely expensive. By buying this limited edition, they made 100 of these. That kind of helped with the price. So I think this was around 1,500 euros, which is still very expensive. But it's significantly cheaper than if you were to buy this pen directly from Mont Blanc using their best bespoke program. So that is a big deal. I definitely like that it is, well, one, a 149, which is one of my favorite pens. Uh, it's just very comfortable, very well made. It holds a lot of ink. I like that they did the platinum trim instead of the gold. Yeah, overall, just really enjoy using this pen. In terms of cons, of course, there's the price, 1,500 euros, very expensive for a pen. I believe at this point the hundred that they made are sold out, so this is not something that you'll probably be able to buy again, unfortunately. So secondhand is probably the only way that you can get these. In terms of the cursive italic, you know, I probably would have preferred a slightly sharper italic. Um, it's very wide, so you know, you want to, if you write small, this pen is probably not going to be that useful for you, at least not on an everyday basis. Uh, you need really good paper with this pen just because it is so wet. 
Um, so, you know, having something like a Mitsubishi bank paper notebook is a good idea with this. Uh, you're not going to be writing on, you know, cheap recycled paper with this. It won't be a good experience. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, and until next time.